Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Young Justice, so let's jump into this episode. So, I believe this is the final part of the Zatanna arc here, where we get to see, once again, a lot of story arcs going on at once, and probably only one really, um, for me personally, uh, hitting home, where we get to see Zatanna, uh, really challenging her students, not on purpose, but her students get challenged, uh, where they have to deal with their inner demons. So we get to see that with all three characters, and for me, definitely the, the thing I was most interested for was Mary Marvel. I, I like that we actually delved into our past, we got to see the whole Shazam situation, but for all three characters, I feel like it would have gone even more umph if we really built up to this moment and, and got to see a little bit more of these ca these characters previously. And that's something I haven't been loving about the arc system of Young Justice, where, you know, you get into the meat and, and, and the weeds just a little bit here, and then, uh, you know, we move on to a new character and it, it doesn't quite matter for the bigger arc. And we don't really know what this bigger arc is besides, I guess, the slight connection to Vandal Savage and, and the building of magic when, within this world, uh, but all those moments feel like exactly an exposition dump here where, you know, I've, I've complained about this in previous episode reviews where, you know, mouths don't even move because of the animation, and it really is just info dumps of, okay, what has Vandal Savage been up to, and... How's this connected to the world? And it's not really, for me, told in an interesting way. Uh, but I like the more emotional beats with Zatanna, and I wish we we fully had that in these episodes, because this is her arc, a character that we we don't really get to see as often in Young Justice, and I believe that she deserves a spotlight, and even in her own arc, as do more about her students than actually Zatanna or even her father, even though we just get a little very little tidbit of what's going on with uh, that side of things. Now, uh, the thing that I thought was probably the weakest of this episode was Beast Boy. You know, every episode we've gotten the same depressing arc of Beast Boy, just seeing him kind of laying around, and, and now we are seeing that he's probably taking sleeping pills, uh, and I just wish there was more of a narrative. That's a really strong story to talk about his depression, and we're really just seeing kind of I don't want to say the boring sides, because these are important aspects to the character, but visually and in a storytelling aspect, uh, it could be more interesting to talk about uh, his depression and uh, exactly what he's going through. There's no real conversations here, because we're literally just seeing these these small moments of of him laying down, and, and we do get to see a couple minutes of that, which really takes away from the episode for me. I just wish that if we are going to dive into moments like that, give a whole episode to Beast Boy instead of these like very um, cut up scenes within other episodes that really don't have to do with Superboy uh, because this has to do with Zatanna. If this was a Miss Martian episode, I think it would have been made more sense to have scenes like that. So overall, you know, I, I liked moments in this episode. I, you know, the, the title of this video being, is Mary Marvel going to the dark side? I don't, fully believe that she is, but it shows that she has in the past, and, and it's connecting more to uh, her comic book side and, and some of the villain stories she's, or I would say dark side stories that she's gone through over there, so it's cool that we're, we're getting some comic moments here, but again, I, I don't know if I believe that we're actually going to see more Mary Marvel in the future. I feel like we just get this little glimpse and then we'll move on to another person, which I think is a shame to some of the character building that they're trying to do here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Of course, I'll be reviewing the next episode, Young Justice, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.